Welcome to the party, pal. I am Commander Tom, and this is the happiest cabin in the woods you ever saw, Stardew Valley. With the new update, I wanted to give a new walkthrough, uh, because I'm aware that there is a captive audience out there that could use at least a virtual visit to a lovely, delightful valley that is not the four walls of your living room. I've already seen the intro many times, and I'm sure you have as well, so I'm going to go ahead and hop straight into the game here. I'm going to go with a really boring name here, if I can get my cap blocks corrected. And we know what I'll be growing in the la uh, later game. Okay, we're going to skip the intro. Classic form, hit OK, and let's start on the game. Once it loads. And I will probably turn the music down here as soon as we get into it, just so we can uh, hear my delightful voice just a little bit more. Okay, music volume, we'll knock that down just a little bit. I don't mind the ambient and the other our volumes. Okay. Turnip, or parsnips, that's right. Okay. I've received 15 parsnip seeds. Use a little something to get you started. I sometimes think Mayor Lewis should be more like a mobster than anything else, but I'm allowed. Somehow, I've met two people already. <laughs> Wake out of bed. Gotcha. Getting started. Cultivate a harvest, a parsnip. Alright, let's get on with this. Now, I also want to collect 50 wood, and one of the big challenges of uh, the early days is you have low energy, no money, no crop to work off of. You have nothing. You need everything. So, uh, one strategy I found is to try and uh, scythe uh, through most of uh, your territory because you can uh, sell yeah, fiber for a little bit of gold and then okay. I'm trying to get what I need without having to do a ton of work or expend my energy so I can actually make it through the day and not like be dead asleep at 2 in the afternoon. I'm probably going to spend the first full day literally working my fields. Uh, I will uh, drop as much as I can into the uh, sale box at the, uh, before I go in for the night. So I can have the gold then to take to Pierre's tomorrow morning for extra seed. And hopefully, during this clearing process, we'll also get some wild seeds. Wild. But I also want to get that, uh, I believe it's 50 wood, if I'm not mistaken, so I can get a chest because of... Uh, storage space. Uh, that's the, I think that's probably what I miss when you are used to playing, you know, year two, year three, and you go back and start a new world. What I miss the most is the backpack expansions. You have such limited inventory. Comment below, when you start a new world, what do you miss most of your later worlds? I don't know if it's back... I think it is the backpack. It might be expanded tools, but not so much. I really feel the backpack more than I do the uh, downgrade in tools. 52. Okay. Craft. Excellent. Okay, don't really want to chop too much, move my hoe to primary, watering can, there's a few rocks I do need to take out, 
going to plant. Drop that there. Okay. Burn in daylight. Let's clear the garden. Okay, 15. So, let's go 3 by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's 1. Oops. 2, 3, Parsnips in the ground. Alright, let's water this stuff. I do have to say, I even appreciate the bird song in the background. That is lovely and peaceful to the ears. Okay. Alrighty, so. Let's focus on what I can side easily, not so much the grass. I'd like to wait until I've got uh, silo up, so how can a frog survive that? Seriously, how? Uh, today it's uh, fiber focus, because then I'll do a little bit of a path to get down uh, to the uh, southern access here. There we are. Makes seeds. That's what I'm looking for. Every seed I can plant is something good I can grow. And free is my price range. We're looking at uh, about 1 in the afternoon. Excellent. And I still have quarter energy. Scythe your first day. That's the biggest tip I can give you. down here in this little maze of stuff, and we get to the river. Now I'd like to get down on the south side because I'd like to get myself down to the spring onion pad. That's a good source of energy if I need it. There's also a few patches of additional fiber to uh, harvest. And uh, might be able to snag a few extra wild edibles. Another frog. How is he still alive? How is my sigh? Oh, there we are, Danny. I would really like to know how that Dan, uh, how that those frogs survived my sigh. I remember when I was a kid. Yep, see? Okay. This is why you always bring your hoe. Worms. Always hoe the worms. I found an artifact! Not going there right now. Yep, yep, there. Yeah, I know. I just didn't want to have that pop-up thing coming up, and I know there'd be someone saying, Read your mail! Read your mail! Read your mail! And I just want to bring that to the rest of them. Okay. Four extra seeds so far. A couple of wild edibles. Okay, gotta get my way on down here. 
It has been a little bit since I've played Stardew. I've done a lot of uh, Minecraft, Ark, Startopia, but with uh, the recent uh, updates, and, you know, I just wanted to play something happy, bright, cheery. Uh, so, this came to the top of my list. Okay. Okay. That's okay. That's alright. Go into the world yet. Okay, we're looking at 5.40 p.m. Oh, we got another... Right here. Okay. Just gotta get the seeds and uh, just gotta get the... Uh, fiber in the bin before 2 a.m. or before I pass out. And if you notice, we're still looking at about 25-30% of our energy level. So we're holding up okay. Hey, let's say hi. Let's do it out here, not behind the bushes. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. Yep. Beginning of the game. I always move here at the beginning of the game. It's insane, isn't it? Okay, we're done now. <laughs> Alright, how much more can I milk out of this farm without killing myself? Okay. This part here, navigating through the stones and everything, this reminds me very much like Pac-Man. Trying to find a way through the nooks and crannies, getting the stuff you want. There we are. It's starting to get dark. 7.30, okay. Still got plenty of energy. Up, oh, there's another mix seed, yep. More fiber. Convert it over to the cricket sounds. Okay, let's get this stuff into the ground before I get caught on some weird catch 22. So, what did I pull off with? Seven additional seeds. Excellent, some of this. Excellent. Alright, so that's going to be. Oop. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Start, <laughs> Stardew Valley, a lovely game brought to you for counting! All right, so let's go ahead throw that in there because that'll give us a little something. Uh, you know what? Early days, we'll scavenge more. Let's sell it all because I want as many seeds as possible. That we'll give to Gunther, and it is 9:30. We've got a little bit of energy. We're not wasting our energy. That is a precious resource that we will not. We will not waste that. I'm already at the farm. I might be able to get another seed or two. And every seed, every plant that you can get helps you out. Okay. Next seed, see? There we are. Alright, what time is it? 
See, that's why I'm trying to get straight over there, because <laughs> the light is going down. I'm getting stuck in my own farm. Thanks, Grandpa. How long did this sit? How long did Grandpa stop working this before it finally came to me? Just out of curiosity. Okay, we're at 1120. Uh, let's throw this into the bin. We'll call that a night. That's not a bad night by any stretch of the imagination. And I don't expect to be a rock star, but we're at 500 right now. Let's just take a look. How much are we going to get for our day's trouble? First day trouble. How much more can we buy in seats tomorrow? Hey, 336. Not bad. Not bad at all. Every little bit helps, especially on day one. Alright. Now we are going to water our crops, but aside from that thing, we're going to get going. Because, okay, what do we got here? Hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. Well, I've got something for you. Or... Just got back from my fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. You see, tone of voice is important. Quite frankly, read wrong, this letter can give me the willies. But we'll see how that goes. Let's go ahead and get crops watered for the day, and then we'll start making our way to town. And uh, we'll take that uh, route uh, right off to the right here. It's with my hoe. So if we find anything worth it, we'll dig up the worms. Any forageables, we'll snag those. There's always busy, busy bodies. Always something to do on these games. And at this point, I'm starting to miss sprinklers. Alright, and I don't need my watering can anywhere near off the plant, okay, there's a rock I think I may want to break, and I doubt I'm going to make it to Gunther today, we'll take care of that later, Gunther's not a priority on the first couple of days, spring onion there, good to know, no that's a leak, there's a leak, there's a leak in my game, AM. Yeah, it's Tuesday, it's not Wednesday, so I can deal with that. Okay. Let's shred these. Mix seed, see? Usually there's a rock there. Okay, that's the reason I brought my pickaxe. Well, I'm not gonna complain. Okay. More fiber. Now, Doc always says I need fiber in the diet. Don't think you mean that, though. Okay. Let's see who I can see. Who I can. Oh, look, we'll say hello. Waiting for you. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? Yes, if you don't recognize me, small town logic guarantees that I just moved in. I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Of course you have, because the rumor mill told the entire village I was here long before I even unpacked a box. <laughs> All right. Let's see what the jobs are. Okay, well, that's the birthday calendar, and that's great, but what I really wanted was help wanted. Three carp, Willie. My fishing skill is not going to be that great right this second, and I'll do that later. Okay. 
Oh, I want that sunflower, and we're at 9.30. Okay. Get a hello in. Oh, hey! So, like, you're the new guy, huh? <laughs> cool. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. While you stand here and twirl football like it's a basketball. I'll see you around. Later, dude. Catch you later, Bill and Ted. All right. Ah, uh, the general sore. Alright, because the conversation never makes sense. Let's do it this way. Hey, it's Mr. Tom, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. That would explain why you are behind the register, because if anyone else was behind your register, that would be odd. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'm literally standing in your shop, sir. I'll also buy produce for you for a good price. Excellent. Let's talk business. Alright. Let's go ahead and sell this off. Okay, so we got over a grand here. Alright. I'm not going to get the bean hot pot recipe anytime soon, so I'm not going to worry about that. I am going to go with cauliflower. Okay. We're going to go all in. We're going to try and make some waves here. And we're going to take a different route home. Just for this reason. Excellent. Alright. Oh, a new person. Ooh. I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. <laughs> I don't want to talk about reading things on my aura, crystals, I love your psychedelic uh, flashback I'll find out in a few months. You're cool, Emily. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. <laughs> you know what? I am a major fan of the Friday night uh, beer, once I've got the cash flow for it. Alright, let's roll. Sweet! Oh, Marty, yes. Uh, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm oh, Marty. I love you, Marty. You're like my plumbing supply lady. I love that exploit hack. I'm totally going to show you guys how to do that unless they patched it out. Please don't. Uh, I sell livestock and animal care products in my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Marty, you sell me everything I need. So, you're one of my favorite peeps. You're awesome. Let's check out those onions again. Every day is a new day filled with possibilities. Survey says yes. Excellent. All right, we got anything down here? Wow. I suppose I could have checked this patch. I always forget about this little patch of stuff. I'm a horrible, horrible person, I know. And never leave your home at home. Okay, can we talk about the books for a second? Why is it the books automatically, like, teleport and appear at the library, yet the artifacts need me to personally deliver? Can we talk about that? Is there a reason? Is that a no? Okay. this way. I try to go in circles and not, you know, back and forth lines. I always try to cover as much new territory per day as possible just for my foraging. Because again, every night is new opportunities. 
and you never know what treasures the random number generator will give you. And yes, I know that Willy wants to give me a uh, fishing rod, and I will get to it, but in my own darn good time. Right now, I'm trying to get the garden in the ground and, you know, get things growing. I can fish while they grow, but uh, they aren't going to grow if I don't plant them first. It's just priorities. I mean, think about the original settlers, especially like the Westford Frontier people. They would often be a lot more eager to get the garden in the ground and let that grow while they're working on the cabin. So, I'm in the process of foraging and trying to get what supplies are already in the ground. See what extra seeds I can get to put in the ground. Just kind of get everything growing. I'm trying to play this on a fast track system. On the upside, after that uh, walk around a little bit, my energy is still doing well. Not bad. Probably going to need to invest a little bit of the energy in it here sometime to get a path going on, but I'm okay for now. Alright, always hoe the diamonds. Or, <laughs> not the diamonds, always hoe the worms. Chicken statue. Is it the statue of Chicken Man? Chicken Man! He's everywhere, he's everywhere! Alright, so. Let's get this, see what we can do here. I think we're going to need to bring in the axe and invest a little energy here. Alright, so. Again, we're coming up on storage here, so. Uh, I'm going to, spring onions aren't the most valuable out there, but I'll sell the stars and keep that for some food reserve. Uh, let's see, this is Gunther? Yeah, that's Gunther, so we'll throw that in there. Uh, sell, 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 sell. We got an initial income, so I'm not going to worry about that. Sell, plant. All right, yeah, so let's do that. Plant and plant. Okay, and then we are going to need to grab Mr. Axe. So I want to get that wood out of the way. Okay, okay. And let's clear these bits of stone. Okay. Alright, I need 14 new spaces. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, let's plant. All right, and let's water. Now it's going to be a bugger to water, but I think if we work hard these next few days, it'll pay off. And if I'm not mistaken, the odds are highly in favor of day three being a rain out, which is why I don't worry about Willy in the fishing pole. I can usually get to that tomorrow, and I won't have to water the garden tomorrow. So that's kind of the game plan. So I'm playing a little bit of Playing the odds. Every farmer does it. My father was a farmer, so I do know a little bit about that. Alright, so, yep. Okay. Let's clean up just a little bit here. We got the garden in the ground. Geode. We'll throw it in the chest. Local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside? Probably nothing! Let's be honest, odds are it's going to be coal in this game. But, who knows. 
Okay. I would laugh if the, the you know the playthrough that I'm actually recording is the playthrough in which my first geo gives me a prismatic shard. I would laugh, absolutely laugh, but I'd be very happy about that. All right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try to clean up the general area here, and then I'm going to collect my resources from that, because we do need to get some resources going on here. Uh, talk about plan. I actually have one. Lord have mercy on our souls. I am going to try to do as much as I can as the energy allows for me right now. We're getting close to the end of the day that I'm not going to be hurt, horribly offended if I need to go to sleep early, as in like before midnight. What I am trying to do, though, is uh, get sufficient resources for my first build of any game is actually the silo. Because then when I'm scything grass, I'm keeping the hay. I don't feel like I'm wasting anything. Then. And then I can fill up my silo, then... I uh, bring in the chickens, and when I start bringing in the chickens, then it just starts to get infinitely easier, because you can use that to your advantage to get sprinklers and other gear. If they didn't fix that patch, if they did fix that patch, well, then I'm going to have to do it the old school way. And I'm going to cry, and why? I don't want to do it that way. Alright, so my energy is pretty much tapped out, but I saw that coming. Alright, so let's go ahead and put the supplies up. Alright. That's not too bad. It's getting dark, so that's a good day, and I'm practically flatlined on energy. 10 of 270. Okay. Yes. All right. Level one foraging. Yep. Axe proficiency and field snack and learn to make wild sneeds. Might look into that. All right. Day two. What's the final tally here? Not worried about that. Okay. Thank you for joining me with episode one of Stardew Valley. Again, the happiest cabin in the woods you ever saw. If you like this or if at least made you smile, leave a like. And subscribe for more. If you take a look, I'll give you a selection of the Commander Crew's favorites, selection of videos that most people have enjoyed. If you've already watched all of those, I've got something special just for you. I'm Commander Tom, and I will see you next time. Thanks.